hi y'all what's poppin happy wednesday happy 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 wednesday um before we get anything started go ahead and like subscribe and do all you need to do <laughs> all right so i'm gonna just get straight to the point today i don't know why i had a whole nother subject to talk about but i wanted to talk about tattoos and piercings and if it's okay for you to have either of these things as a christian so i'm gonna just go into the story of me telling my mom i had got some piercings <laughs> so i i don't come from a very strict family i just come from my mom just kind of very she's very 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 traditional and absolutely nothing wrong with that i always was i love tattoos and i love piercings and i was just like man in high school i wanted to get an industrial piercing so bad those of you who don't know what an industrial piercing is that's the one that's like that bar that's go from here to here really really wanted that my mom is just like <laughs> girl you're crazy so of course being the obedient child that i am i never you know went behind her back and got anything done or anything like that even when i was in college when i moved out the state i was just so scared like my mom put that fear of me not doing anything i always said you know i'm gonna get a tattoo i'm gonna get this i'm gonna get what i want what i want whatever so um back in april I don't know I just left work and I was just like I'm gonna go pierce my ears I had the regular like these piercings like regular girl piercings whatever I had these barely wear earrings I rarely rarely I'm not that accessory type of girl or anything like that I it just don't happen if I have earrings in my ear it has to be studs where I forget that it's on there so I just went, I just left work one day and I told my coworkers, yo, I'm gonna go get my ears pierced. And they was like, all right, cool, how many you gonna get? You know, I'm gonna, I want my entire ear pierced. Cause I think it just looks really, really cool. Very, very impulsive. And I'm usually never a person that's that impulsive. I usually say stuff, but nine times out of 10, I ain't gonna do it after thinking about it, praying about it, whatever, it just don't happen. This was super impulsive. So at, at, at this point, I'm at work. And I'm Googling like tattoo shops I can go to, found a really great one. I go in and I just was like, hey, I want to pierce my entire ear. And she was like, oh, okay. I showed her the picture of what I want and she was like, oh, okay, sure, we can do it. But I recommend doing four piercings at a time. And I was like, oh, okay. She's like, because it's going to be very painful, like once it gets to like the top part. I'm like, I'm a thug and you know what I want to be cool I guess so I got it I just wanted it in one ear I just want to leave one ear alone and she was like all right cool well let's go if you're ready and stuff like that now my hands getting shaky and I'm like oh my gosh I can't believe I'm doing this I can't believe I'm doing this and I tell my mama everything and I was like oh my gosh she gonna kill me she gonna kill me once i get this tattoo not this tattoo this piercing and so i go in and she's like all right take a deep breath we, we go through the whole process so i end up getting these four piercings so these two up here and then these two down here so along this ear i technically have five piercings on this ear so now I feel like, yo, I'm a G, I done got me a person. I feel good, I'm like, I'm lit, you know? At this point, I was in, I had no cares about nothing. I was like, I'm gonna do what I want, when I want, how I want, whatever, I'm grown. That's how I was feeling. So I called my mama and, you know, my mom was in a whole nother state. She didn't have to find out, I didn't have to tell her, but I just felt it in my soul, just call her, just like, whatever. So I'm like, hello, hey, mommy. So I got my ears pierced today. And she was like, what? Yeah, I got four. She was quiet. Hello, mommy? Mla, mla. And that basically means, for those who don't know, I'm Haitian. 
So that basically means I'm here. And I was like, so why you ain't saying nothing? She was like, you know, you grow, you do what you want, it's your body. Then my mom likes to take things from zero to 100. It's just like, what you gonna get next? Yeah, your other body parts too? I'm like, mommy, I just wanted to, and I literally, we went through this whole conversation. So I say this whole story, and she's kind of like, she was kind of throwing in the Christian thing at me. And then I was like, well, God not gonna love me any less because I got piercings that, that don't add up. So that brings me to my overall thing is, should Christians get tattoos and piercings? Or is it a sin to get a tattoo or a piercing? And overall, this is me. Overall, my answer is no. It is not a sin to get a tattoo or a piercing. Um, but I do believe you have to treat your body as a temple. And what is your reasonings behind these piercings and these tattoos and all that other stuff? Is it to just bring reflection to self? Then I think that it can become a sin because if you're idolizing your tattoos or if you're idolizing your piercings and if they don't even have any like for me when it comes to tattoos i would love a tattoo i'm a little bit of a punk because i feel like i would probably get a whole bunch of piercings but with piercings once i'm sick of it i could just take it out and it'll eventually close up tattoos that's a whole nother situation but I feel like with tattoos, they have to have a for real meaning. Some people get very meaningless tattoos or some people get their whole selves just tattooed just to bring attention to themselves. And it's like, what is the true meaning behind that tattoo? Now, I believe that people should get tattoos when they're older, not necessarily when they're young, because I feel like you make very, very dumb decisions when you're younger and you might end up regretting that tattoo. I know a lot of people who regret the tattoos they first got when they were like 16 or something. But I feel like if you're in your 20s, maybe 24-ish up, maybe 25 up, and you get a tattoo, you, you, you grown, you know why you got that tattoo. And even with piercings, like if I'm piercing my entire eyebrow, my two nose, and I'm not judging anybody that has those piercings, I just want to know what the purpose of having those piercings for. I can even ask myself that. This is just clearly, it's just, it's vain. This is just, there's no spiritual meaning behind it. It's not, oh, you know, Jesus had four holes in his body, top, no, it's, that doesn't even make sense. That's not why I got it. I got it cause strictly because I thought it was cute, and that's that. And it's, it doesn't bring that. It doesn't bring attention to me, or whatever. So no, I do not believe that it is a sin to get a tattoo, or is this a, it's a sin to get body piercings. And then some people who are super, super, super religious will bring out those Bible verses that you know say don't mark up your bodies or. Um, let me see. I'm so glad I can use my phone now since I'm not recording on my phone. Um, so a lot of things. So I feel like I'm saying so a lot. When it comes to the Bible, a lot of super, super religious people I have noticed tend to gear towards the um, Old Testament. They, they, they gear towards the Old Testament and I'm not saying the Old Testament is super, super, super important. And I think I want to make a video about that. But when Christ came and he died, he died for our sins because we as humans couldn't, we couldn't obey the laws that were put in place. We constantly failed. And if he did not come for us, then we would just all probably be going to hell by now. Um, so in Leviticus 19.28, let me actually go to it in the Bible app, because I had to Google it first. Leviticus 19.28 says, do not cut your bodies for the dead and do not mark your skin with tattoos. I am the Lord. 
but a lot of people like to point that verse out but not the entire chapter this entire chapter is literally telling people what to do what not to do and all this other stuff if you're living solely by the old testament and this chapter alone a lot of us especially men i believe because this one right before it, it says do not trim off the hair off your temples or trim your beards. Listen, we all, these men will be looking crazy out here. And we, you know, us women, we like to do with a fresh cut, you know, looking real nice and stuff. But anyways, I'm just saying like, big picture, no, it is not a sin. I'm saying that. Now, if you were out here marking up your body with devilish things or things that's gonna cause conflict or things that has nothing to do with something meaningful like a mother's name or a child's name or something that actually got some thought into it and you got like skulls, crosses, this and that and it's just nothing to glorify. I just feel like I'm not getting my point across the way I want it to because it's, it's making sense in my mind, y'all. It's making sense in my mind. Your body is truly your temple and treat it as such. Before you make these decisions on getting piercings or getting tattoos, consult with the Lord and he will lead you in that right direction. If you have no type of conviction about getting that tattoo, well, let me be mindful when I say that because some people don't have certain convictions because they're probably not far along in their walk. But when you're making certain decisions that's going to change how your body looks in any type of way, any modification to your body, just pray about it, seek the Lord about it, and be wise in your decisions. Now, for me, I don't have a tattoo yet. I say yet because, I don't know, I've... I stay writing on my skin. I'll be like, oh, this, this will be a cute little tattoo. But I changed my mind so much, so I never want to get something I'm going to hate later on. So if it's, if I do end up getting a tattoo, it got to be like a Bible first. So something like that. Or like piercings, like I said, if I get tired of any of these, I'm just taking it out and letting that sucker close up. But be wise in your decisions. I do not believe it is a sin. That is not something that's going to keep you from heaven or keeping keep the lord from you he's always going to be with you what's going to keep the lord from you is if you deny him if you have not accepted jesus as your lord and savior that's what's going to get you keep kicked out the kingdom not because you don't got you a whole sleeve i think sleeves are so cute but like i said if it ain't something that's gonna hype up if it's something that's hyping up the devil i mean honey i don't know what to tell you at that point we know who you worship and if you're not idolizing yourself if it's not like a hey look at me 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 if it's not like a selfish type of thing then do you man do your thing <sighs> i hope i said all that to make sense in some type of way no it's not a sin it's not going to keep you from heaven just accept jesus and i promise you good <laughs> you are and i'm gonna get another person no, I'm not. Piercings are expensive. <laughs> anyway, if you stuck around, I appreciate your life. I do. Um, ooh, it's still healing, y'all. It's still healing. I got a whole nother three months before this one is completely healed up, the two up top. Um, but I'll see you guys in the next video, which is on Sunday. Um, please share, subscribe, comment below. Do you think that getting a, um, a tattoo or different piercings are a sin? Let's have a conversation below about it. Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys next time. Remember, I love you, but Jesus, Jesus, Jesus Cristo, he loves you most. Oh, and shout out to my dog, Ashley. She's back. She got me this sweater. California, yay, okay. She came from Cali. I know she mad. I know she's sad, but I love her. And she's here. And I'm glad she's back. All right, bye, y'all.